Okay, so what we have here is a Asus 17 inch model, and um, what we're going to do is turn it on and we're going to see what we get out of it. So we have lines, and then we have uh, normal, such as that. What happens is this is uh, going to be the um, the uh, artifacting this is a keyboard well not keyboard but a chipset issue the keyboard right here isn't working when we press the arrow key so um, but what happens is you have split screen like this and uh, then the lines across it of course then the uh, the improper sizing it will not size to the correct portion of the screen so we know that this is going to be a chipset issue so pretty much what we're going to do now is just turn it off and then we're going to uh, take it apart to uh, reflow it because we know that that's what's going to fix it so um, that's what we're going to do here in a second okay so now we have our board disassembled and we see that we have a uh, NVIDIA uh, G86 processor for a GPU on here and then the Intel coprocessor and of course we have a bottom side uh, low voltage uh, processor for uh, every other component on the board so what we're going to do is take this and place it on the uh, reflow unit and start the uh, reflow process as we always do now with the uh, VRAMs they're on the bottom so we're gonna have to reflow the top then turn the board over and reflow the bottom so uh, we're gonna start that process here in a second and um, that's what we're gonna do Alright, so what we have here is uh, our LCD cable. We noticed something as we're putting it in. And uh, what we're going to do is zoom in on that. One of our pins on the end appears to be uh, bare. So, what we have going on here is uh, a broken pin or a broken pin out. So, what we're going to do is Take and plug this in. Everything seems to be uh, fine. So we'll end up plugging it in like so. We'll take and push this down. And then we're going to take and uh, push this side down. It appears that we have full contact on one side. Uh, not so certain about the other because we can't really get a good read on it so what we're going to do is take this uh, screen flex it up power it on and see what we see out of it so we have our ASUS screen and we have our uh, boot up screen but as you can tell we have a little bit of a red tint to it but we do not have the artifacting across the uh, lines there. We have a little bit of red coloring there. <coughs> With this, what we're finding is um, the reason it is colored like that and the way it's doing that is due to the uh, frequency within the cable. So either that pin's not making contact or it's uh, touching another uh, wire or whatnot and it causes it to do like this but as we can tell our artifacting and our screen distortion as it was is gone the only deal that we have there is a frequency issue uh, as is concerned to the uh, screen there now you may ask what's the difference between that and the other how can you tell that that's not a GPU issue first off 
it's only in the area in which the um, colors and the words are being displayed. That's how you can first off tell it's a frequency issue. Second off, it's not across the whole entire system. Uh, that would be a BG, BGA issue. And uh, third, you could tell because it actually uh, it's red colored. Uh, would it be red colored like that? Most likely, uh, before you used to have inverter and uh, LCD problems, you would get a orange or a uh, reddish orange issue, and that would be due to a frequency problem that uh, is related to the inverter or the LCD or the uh, video cable. So what we're going to do is let this boot up. Our hard drive's running. It's going to take it a minute to start up, so we're going to allow it to do that, and then we're going to resume checking it out. So as we check here, uh, the closer we look, the more we see that there are bent pins inside of there. So that leaves us to believe that the uh, that the uh, issue is a video cable related issue with the uh, screen like that. So what we're going to do is take and uh, align those pins. And then plug it back in and see what happens. Okay, so we've uh, realigned our pin and plugged it in. And let's see what happens. We see that there are no red lines. And uh, everything seems normal. So, we were correct in assuming that the... Uh, that this... Uh, was a frequency issue related to the uh, uh, video so with that being said we know that the uh, the cabling was an issue now we're going to have to see that uh, Windows actually boots up and um, personally I've already cut this thing on two or three times and notice that the uh, system will not boot.